Hello viewers. Here is at least one, perhaps even two, PBX systems. These were given to me by a relative who has been working with telephones forever. And this has got to be several weeks worth of videos here. I don't really know much of anything about these PBX systems, so I have a lot of learning to do. But I'll just show off what we have here and then I will learn as we go. Um, there's some kind of a modem card here. Remote access PC card. I don't know how old this is. Um, let's see if there's any kind of date codes on here. Assembled in Mexico, so it's got to be a relatively recent make. Here's a look at the information on it. I'm not sure exactly how many lines it can handle. It looks like it can handle four, I mean eight extensions and then perhaps two lines maybe. I'm really just guessing. I, I don't have much of any experience with this kind of equipment so um, I'm just <laughs> guessing at this point really. But, um, I will do some learning for sure. We have an interesting proprietary power connector there. The system is um, it's an Avaya branded system. Partner ACS. And I'm going to leave this out just because I don't want it to get caught in something and get bent. This, I believe, is the main connector for all the extensions. If you were to hardwire this into a building and have the wiring go throughout, I believe this is what makes the interface from the wiring to the modular plugs on the telephone or on the on the system here. There's another part of, of this system, I don't know if it's the same thing in another instance of it or if the two of them work together. To me it looks like it's the same thing. But I have this one which I'd be willing to bet was never used. Let's see what are the part numbers on this. Uh, no, I guess it's not the same. This one is a Lucent branded, although it still says a Avaya on there. This is also partner ACS, yeah, so maybe it is uh, comparable. This one's made in USA, so this one must be older. I don't know what this is. Expanding. This also uh, looks like it can handle eight phones. And see, I don't see any regular analog phone line inputs on this one. So maybe these two pieces do work together. I, I really don't know. I got to. I gotta download some manuals and whatnot for all this stuff. In this other box, we also have just a regular old phone cord. The proprietary power cable. I thought for sure this was gonna be some kind of a low voltage thing, but I guess it's just a regular old AC power cord. Uh, I'm gonna have to get another one of these, providing that these two systems work uh, in unison with each other. 
It's also a bag of foam cords and I don't know what those are, a couple screws. I think this uh, this whole box is new equipment. In this box, we have a pack of speed dial th uh, holder things, references. This has an awful lot of extensions. Looks like this has a uh, about 50 extensions, which is certainly a lot more than what the system appears to be able to plug in, so clearly I, I don't understand something about this. These are probably the things that go in the telephones themselves that you can label. And this is some SNET documentation. I hope this is manuals for the whole thing. It looks like it is. I'm guessing this is probably the um, company that, that would have originally installed this system. Oh good, it looks like this is a full manual. Definitely going to have to read through this. Alright, so that's good. There's a date here, 2-1-1994. So this is uh, November 91, copyright nine, uh, 1988, so this stuff is actually pretty old. There's some... Uh, Writing here on the back, I guess this is not private information. So here are some of the phones. I believe a lot of these are unused as well. It's got Lucent brands all over it, Lucent Technologies on the information thing there as well um, assembled in USA and China and this one let's see what is this I don't know this uh, looks like it might have been lightly used it's got a pretty solid feel to it I think these are Definitely older, probably not easy equipment, that sounds about right. Um, this has the uh, speed dial reference on you, quite a few tabs. That's kind of cool. System speed dial, hold, transferring calls, 
voicemail. So it's got quite a few features to it. So it's like it could be a wall mounted system as well. There's that phone. Cords and looks like it was probably used, but it's not in bad shape at all. Now this one, this one I think is definitely new. It's still in the packaging. Ooh, is that more manuals? Yeah. It. Somewhat. Okay, so this model's a little bit more fancy. This has got a uh, whole lot of features to it. Get this bag off here a little bit. This has a, a screen and Speaker phone and whatnot. Lots of programmable things. Sound level meter in the box. It's got nothing to do with the telephones, but I actually could use one of these, so that's good. Here's an Aspra Telecom telephone. Let's see what this is. This is different than the. Um, so this makes me believe those are two different systems because these are different phones. This one is obviously used. It's got one of those uh, shoulder rest things on it. Yeah, this one is definitely pretty heavily used. Okay, this is a two line model. This is also a desk or wall mount. So there's that. No documentation, so that's going to be interesting trying to learn how to use that. Lucent Technologies box. It's another one of these telephones. But uh, this one is not of very much use because it doesn't have a handset. I could very well be buried deep in here somewhere. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in here. More Astra Telecom. I think these are new. Um, maybe. There's a power cord in here. Class 2, so it is for telephones.
didn't realize that these were uh, powered telephones. Oh yeah, those have a, a power uh, input. And this one has a manual, which is good. This one looks lightly used. Very good condition either way. It looks like we have another one here. This one is also complete. A multitude of phone cords. Oh, this is the headset that would have gone to that other phone. It's got that weird. Uh, connector. The foam is pretty deteriorated, but there's there's that. That's still around. We have two lineman phones. And then a bunch of wiring some cable management stuff which is useful. Oh, we can uh, get some use out of that upstairs in the computer room. Some tube, wire tube, some black tubing, some cords, and some other wire for the PBX phones. So, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm pretty sure we have enough equipment to get the system set up just to experiment with. I don't have a way of really wire it throughout the house. Um, I'm not going to run new wires. So, how we will be able to get any practical use out of the system, but It'll still be interesting to set it up and learn how it works and how to use it here in the shop or something. I'll find some way to use it. So that's going to be it for this video. Lots of interesting stuff here. Should make a lot of good videos on getting this stuff going. So thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.